driverless cars like the ones Google is testing are raising questions and concerns. Who's responsible in the case of an accident? Can a blind person now drive? As Sacramento Bureau Chief Minette Miranda shows us, the DMV is trying to come up with some answers. California's Department of Motor Vehicles is trying to catch up with technology. The agency has come up with regulations addressing self-driving cars, like the one Google is developing. We need to take baby steps. We need to make sure that these vehicles can operate safely. When these vehicles get into an accident, who's going to be liable? And the touchy subject of privacy has many concerned. The software used is recording information to make the driverless vehicles operate. What exactly is that information? Where is it being stored? Who has access to that information? How is that information being used? You know, is that the safety standard that we want to have? Silicon Valley companies, the car industry, and the public have begun telling DMV what rules of the road they'd like to see. Techies are concerned about overregulation stifling innovation. Motorists in California are not guinea pigs. While consumer groups worry about safety. We have a lot of computer technology in cars already, and it doesn't always work right. There are often problems. Rick Hodgkins, who relies on public transportation because he is blind, is excited about the prospect of autonomous cars being available for people like him. In general, it would be, I wouldn't have to, um, it would just save me time. So our little eight-year-old can't drive herself to school? Well, not right now, <laughs> but maybe in the future. By law, DMV has to have the regulations in place by the end of 2014. In Sacramento, Nanette Miranda, ABC7 Eyewitness News.